Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup for you. I'm using my rosehip seed oil first. Um, it gives me a nice dewy finish to my makeup. It's by Life Flow. Rub it all over, pat it in. And I'm using my Dermaglow Perfect Primer. It has been discontinued, so I will no longer be using that after I'm done. And of course, have a little watermelon break in between. It's essential. And now I am using my Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer. It is taken out of the tube. And I'm using with it my e.l.f. foundation brush. And I'm using downward strokes on my face to go with the hairs. This is a Maybelline um, corrector concealer. It's for dark eye circles, so I try to pat that in with my fingers rather than rubbing. And back to the concealer, again downward motions so the hairs don't stand up. And now under the eye I'm using the same concealer but in upward motions. Now I'm using my Carol Baker Pressed Mineral Powder in color Biscuit with um, just a powder brush. <laughs> I'm not sure who it's by, I've had it for a long time. So again, I cover the neck so I blend in the colors with my face so there's no harsh lines. And I also try and stick with the downward motions on the face to prevent the hairs from sticking up. I also try and get around the eyes really well and I use the pad that comes with the foundation and I just dab a little extra around the eyes. And another watermelon break. And I use just a tissue to dab off any excess because sometimes it can get a little cakey and nobody likes a cakey face. Another concealer you can use is Revlon Color Stay. It's another great concealer. This is also a concealer green for acne scars. Now I'm going to move on to my brows and I'm using a Maybelline, I think color 58, with a cream shadow brush, which I have found works great for my brows. And I try to keep with the shape of my brows, so I try to have a good brow shape and not create a new shape with the brow. There's the difference between the two brows. And now I am using a New York Color Coal Eyeliner Pencil. It's in just regular white. And I use it on the inner tear ducts of my eyes as well as my waterline on the outsides of my eyes. And I also use the same pencil under my brow and over my brow to um, accentuate the highest point of the brow and bring light to that spot. And I use my e.l.f. smudge tool to smudge it just a bit so it's not visible. You don't want to see any of the harsh lines. Same goes with the eyes, you don't want any harsh lines. Oh, now my Wet n Wild eyeliner. I'm not very good with eyeliner. I'm trying my best to keep a steady hand, but I usually mess up about a hundred times. I 
Oh, this is painful to watch. And I always like to add a little bit of a wing. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the simple line. So I add a tiny wing sometimes, or a big wing. So you can see the difference between the eyes. I will spare you the pain of watching me do the other eye. And now they're both done. And another watermelon break, because that was hard work. And now I am on to the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara, as well as the Mega Impact Mascara. I am using the Mega Protein first. I use that on both top lashes. I look silly. And because it's a bit runny, I use the Mega Impact over top of that. Gives me a little bit of extra volume. And I also do it on the bottom lashes very lightly. I don't cake it on because it can rip out your eyelashes. And with them both done. blush in Park Avenue Plum with another e.l.f. blush brush and I just sweep it on my apples of my cheeks about two fingers away from the nose and up the cheekbone I just use a clear setting spray it's called dance the night away and oil control makeup setting spray doesn't work fantastic but it helps and here's the finished product thanks for watching guys and don't forget to follow me on instagram